Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Born Losers Gaming, and welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. Casey? Yes. I'm really excited. Me too. I'm really excited to play more of this game. I'm going to try to jump right into it, but before we do that, I kind of want to play as Crash. Oh. This part. I think okay. I really want to go back and forth between Crash and Coco, right? I want to play as both of them. Do we have any cool costumes? We got the robot costume. Oh. We got the... Uh, he has got a little bone going through his nose. That's not any, like any nose ring I've ever seen before. Okay. Oh, oh my yes. God. That's the That's one. Dick. I'm going to play the one crash. No. No, Oops. come on. Oh, sorry. Did I already straight the level? I don't know what just happened. Y'all, welcome back to Crash Bandicoot 4. At the end of the last part, we said you know, we may come back to the series, and I'm very, very excited to say... I Wait. think we're going to be sticking to the series. We're here. Yeah. You'll have had uh, just an outrageous amount of support for the series, even though it's only two parts in. So I'm going to do my best. I think I'm going to put out a part either every two part, every two days. I'm going to put out a part every two parts. That's how YouTube works. Yeah, so we're too that's works. <laughs> I hate what I, we're going to go straight from part two to part four. That's what we're going to. Did you miss part three? Well, that's too bad. I didn't put it out. Uh, we went back to Ooh. level one and got a box, by the we way. We did. We we got one of the gems in. Uh, oh, what is this? It's a VHS. Oh. Wait, it is a VHS. What, why did I just get a VHS? I don't know. Is this the... Huh. Are we the little rats? This is a pretty hot situation. <laughs> this is a pretty steamy situation. I was going to uh. say sticky at first. Then I realized this is not sticky in any way. Our, but it is uh, incredibly hot. Our just like our ex-girlfriend. Uh, uh, marsupials? Yes. Or rodents? Wait. Okay. Now that you've put both in my head, I don't know. No. Bandicoots are marsupials. Okay. I'm positive of it. Why do you ask? I'm just because he called us rats. Oh. And rats are oh, rodents. Like, what the heck is that? But we're marsupial. Can you put that down? That's gonna hurt. No, no, ah, no. Angry baby. That's. A <laughs> I don't trust babies on a good day. Yeah, and then you give a baby a knife. A knife uh, that like with rotates. With a saw blade? Yeah. Like, if it, only there was a word for a knife that rotates. <laughs> what is there? Is there a word for it? It's a saw blade. Oh, right? you see, that's that's what we are, right? In this operation, uh -huh. you're the brains. I'm Can the. You go left. I'm the. Hot I take directions uh, really well. Oh, see? <laughs> I went. Just spin around in there. Are you? I knew it. There's no way. I knew Did it. Did you look up the IGN guy? That, no. Did you but buy I, the Primus strategy? But that was some bullshit. So. <laughs> I figured there would be a box. Honestly, I thought was, I thought there might be like a cutscene in there. There's boxes you know? there. I, I thought I thought this was the way to go. Oh the really? The TNT looks kind of cool. I was wrong. This is not the way to go. That's the way to get boxes. Nice. Excuse yeah, me. Yeah, because uh, the the box that we went back for in the first one was just behind a wall. That's oh my god. Like yeah. you straight up couldn't see it. It was just behind a wall. Hope you span there. Yeah. I, w I wish I was recording because basically what happened. Was I want to make sure that I was like in the zone. Uh huh. This is free. Please do not torn me to shreds. Thanks. Uh, oh, there's something over here. Hello. Oh. Oh, I, box. okay. That's smart, right? That's yeah. really sneaky because that just box. barely shows you that there's something over there. Yeah. So after playing for the first day, right? right. And being, of course, enamored. <gasps> there are color gems in this game. Ooh. And being entirely enamored with the game so far, um, I have now begun to kind of like, okay, what do I like? What don't I like? Right. Right. Hello. And there are some things that I do like, and some things I don't. Well, I already missed. You know uh, what? I. This is one of the parts that I don't like about this game, <laughs> which is what I was gonna say. Also, there's a thing down there. Just go give that nitro car a little kiss. No, no, the nitro. Uh, what a little kiss. If, we should get the checkpoint. Oh, wait, I just got the checkpoint. Okay. Yeah, real pucker up. It puckered up. All right. Uh, that is absolutely a word that I would use to describe what just happened. Oh, hey. Okay. Yeah, this is what I wanted to get. Hello. Now jump. <laughs> I seem to be in a bad situation. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'm a oh. gamer. Sorry. I forgot. My bad. Wait, you're not going back for the what other the, boxes? The? I don't think I can Is go this back. Is freaking Borderlands? I know. That's kind of what... I mean, it's like very... Oh. Yeah, I can't go back. Well, I meant jump off the cliff. This is a checkpoint. <gasps> idiot. Don't call me an idiot. Dumbie. Uh, uh, uh. Jason, what's, what's Jason's last Does name? Does that guy I, have a, a six-pack window? He does have a six-pack window. Well, now he doesn't have anything, but... The what? Oh, that's what the exclamation box is for. Oh. That's smart. So, I already know, I don't think I'm going to go for all of the boxes, right? Yeah, box. Like, right now, like, you may be asking, Ian, why get this box? It's because I want to? Okay. Yeah. <gasps> Casey. Yeah. Somebody very smart answered your question. 
What question? Why are there boxes in the Crash Bandicoot universe? Oh, yeah? Because it's never really been explained canonically, right? Right. But the reason they did it before is because the PlayStation couldn't... <laughs> that dude's got reach. Ah. A wicked left hook you if got I've murdered. ever seen one. That was unbelievable. Dude came out of nowhere. That's not true. I know exactly where he came from. The in front of you? Yeah, right in front not of me. Not hiding? Yeah. Doing the same chopping uh, motion? Do I have to get this gem again? Uh, How do what? I see what gems I've gotten? Maybe you don't. Shit. I, this is as good of a place to find out as ever, right? Right. Do I need to recollect gems? I would assume. Oh, but that's such a precarious jump. Let's find out. Um, okay, so tell me why the box is... Right. It was because back in the PlayStation 1 days, where, you know, you needed to save on as many resources as you can. Right. They wanted to give you more to do in the levels. And in order to do that, um, a box is only six polygons. That's mm. really simple. So they put boxes everywhere because it was very easy, you know, simple for the PlayStation handle. And right. it was just, they're fun to hit. A cool little completion bonus. Similar okay. to how Mario has coins and stuff, right? So what you're saying is there's not a reason. Okay, no, there's not a reason that's good enough for Casey. But they, there is a reason. There's a reason for the game developers. There's not a reason for Crash. What do you mean? Because Crash doesn't know. Oh, that saves on polygons. Crash would fruit. try and eat the word he polygon. He gets fruits. What? I hate these babies, man. I mean, they're not good babies. <laughs> I I would rate Absolutely. that baby two out of ten. Oh, how would you become a one out of ten? Uh, yeah, one out of ten is if you're baby better you're at walking towards people with a knife. They just kind of pace. <laughs> That's fair. Okay, like so. a smart baby with a knife, way oh better God, than those yeah. dumb babies with knives. Don't call it a dumb baby with it's a, a knife. It's a dumb baby. Don't that call baby it. is pretty dumb. That's it's I sure. Oh wow, this is interesting. This is check it out. So I know what to do, right? I bet you do. Uh oh, okay. Uh huh. See, I know exactly what to do. It may look like I almost didn't know what to It did look like that. Remember part one and part two where I yeah. said I might be the worst Crash Bandicoot player? I do Crash remember Bandicoot you saying player. those things. I am a wicked good Crash Bandicoot 1 through 3 player. No, yeah. You're a great Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> you're the greatest Crash Bandicoot I've ever seen. You're a, I've only you're ever a seen one, one of a kind Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> you're the Nobody only dies like you do, son. <laughs> Very proud of you. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a constant of this playthrough is me uh, saying. you complaining about being bad? Yes. Uh, it does happen. Dare I say I'm I am mad and bad instead of mad? I'm not mad cuz bad. You're I just, am mad and bad. You are just both of them. Yes. Three. Let me count for you. Five. Wow. Counting with Make Ian. Make sure to leave enough that you can get back. Yes, that is exactly what I was thinking. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and take out these. This was like okay. So this is bonus place is basically ripped entirely from an older crash game. Right. But it was way further into the game than level three, you know. Right. Because oh, oh wait, I have a double jump. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm missing one. Uh, can I ask a question? Yeah. Is there in deserts in real life? I'm missing one. What am I missing? There's boxes to the right. There's only two though. I'm missing one more. Are you? Yeah. Um, oh, I bet I know. Oh, I don't want to die here. Hold on. Sorry. One second. Then you can talk about what you want. Okay. Huh? Hi. You want to die? Talk don't worry. It. You did. Oh, okay. thanks, Casey. So what I was going to say. Yeah. What were you going to say? Is there like deserts in real life that just have a bunch of abandoned cars in them? Like, is that a, a desert thing that I don't know about? <laughs> I might just not like up to d up to date on my uh, it, deserts. It it feels like there is always a level in these kinds of games that has Got it. a desert, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Full of like tires and old car parts. I mean, it's it's. I think I've said it already, but it's it's very much inspired by Mad Max. I think uh -huh. more than anything else, and that's probably like entirely where the inspiration from it comes from is just the Mad Max movies. Because right. that's what they were. They were like. I've never watched Mad Max, so someone's going to be really mad at me. Um, but they were just like desert, like in the future, everything's shitty and, and just messed up. Okay. And, you know, there's just cars everywhere. Wasn't the first one called like Mad Max Road Rage or something? Fury Road. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I was close, okay? I mean, you were kind of Road Rage, uh, Fury Road. Okay. Okay, watch Big this. Big Mad Road. Angry Street. Angry Street? 
Okay, I did it. I'm alive, baby. You did it. Bonus stages have never been harder. Good job. For me, anyway. I, it, everything's a little harder when people are watching you on the internet. That's true, but nobody's watching. Right. You're the only person watching. Uh, Ian. Yeah? Uh, speaking of Crash oh, being a marsupial okay. uh, bandicoot. Yes. Have you ever eaten any bugs? Huh? No. No, 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 no. Why are you asking? No, I've not eaten any bugs. Why would I? Why haven't you eaten any bugs? What? Why, why haven't you eaten any bugs? What do you mean, why? Uh, like, uh, you can buy, like, ranch flavored crickets. You know? What? What can you actually? Yeah, you can buy, like, powdered ranch crickets. Ah, I, oh. they, they, they apparently don't taste, huh? like, bad, you know? I'm gonna assume they would taste like ranch and probably. Yeah, they just. T you can get, like, cheddar. Get bug, get bug bugs, you know? Oh. Get beetles and shit. I really have no reason to be going for the boxes now, but I want to, right? You never, oh. uh. You never ate a bug as a child? No, I, I honest to God didn't. I was once talked into eating grass, uh, to which beforehand I said, Moo, look at me. Oh, that doesn't sound like you were talked into grass. I it just sounds like you ate grass because I was, you were a cow. I was looking for an excuse. Okay. And somebody dared me to, and then I said, yes, okay. Did you happen to say, I dare you to dare me to eat this grass first? Mm, we don't need to talk about that part, Casey, do we? All right. Hey, there's a, there's a box up there. I see. How do I... How do I get... Ah. You, uh... Oh, you can get it on the other side, I think. Okay. Oh. No, there's... I, okay, no, you're right. I can't see any way to get up there. Okay, I will just slowly fall. Oh, are those spikes? Would Crash become impaled? Oh, uh, yeah. You want to skewer Crash? No, Our actually. good friend, Crash Bandicoot? <gasps> Crash Bandicoot is a good friend. He seems like he would be... <laughs> ah! Hey, what happens when a solid object becomes solid inside your fucking body? See, where most other platformers tend to uh, go on the leaning side of pushing you one way or another... Uh... Glad Crash Bandicoot dissolved Crash in acid for um, fun. Crash Bandicoot is the Dark Souls of platformer, so... I hate that you said that out loud. <laughs> well, that was the thing that was said when um, uh, the Insane Trilogy release, remember? Really? Yeah, everyone was like... Because that was one of the first things that everyone was like, wait. Why can't things just be a hard game? Shut up! Beasting. Why has everything got to be the Dark, the Dark Souls, Souls of... Well, no, I mean, that's the whole meme, right? Is that, like, the game journalists, like, have nothing other to say than this is the Dark Souls of, of platforming. That's fair enough. So it's more of, like, uh... It, it making fun of game journalists and yeah. not the actual, like, thought. Yeah, I don't think any... Okay, I'm sure something... Like, I'm I'm sure I used it. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, though. Okay. That was genuine fear. It sounded like it. Like, that was like, oh, my God. Why? Why did I get so afraid? There's babies in those hamster balls. Have you ever wanted to do that? Like uh, be in a hamster a giant, ball? Be in a giant hamster ball. Uh, that's like an actual thing you can do, I isn't it? I missed 23? Whoa. I thought I missed one. Uh, wow, sucks to where suck. The, where the, oh, wait, there's a red... <laughs> There was a red gem path. I'm yeah. actually stupid. But I got I think I got the three death one. I like Check your it. mohawk. That was me applauding myself for doing a just a job well done. Can you um Yeah. Can you change costumes now? Yes, I'll be cool retro crash next year. Yay! I love new crash design. Look at his Genuinely, look at his little jiggle. I love his dumbass face, his stupid teeth, his eyebrows the, that elevate off of his forehead. I love the harsh loops in all of their animations. Yeah, this, it's very like, cartoony. There is very clearly a part at which it's repeating mm -hmm. and it's not shying away from that. Yeah, well, it's like it, it was designed around that, right? It's not just like a one frame you're here, one frame you're, you're, you're next, you right. know? It's like, it's supposed to look a little more, not static, just jaggedy. Yeah. Huh? Jumpy. Flashback tapes unlocked. Rewind time back to the 90s. Play flashback tapes to experience Crash and Coco's training in Neo... Huh? Oh? What? Uh, hello? Huh? Flashback I want tapes. to. Yeah, I do want to. I... Go. I, well, you know what I was gonna say. Go as Coco? Next time on Born Losers Gaming. We'll be Coco. Hell yeah. I'm sure, we'll be Coco. We'll be uh, retro. And we'll do one of the flashback tapes. Um, really, really enjoying doing this series. I promise this could probably be the last time I 
get all sappy or whatever. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for supporting. We are going to be sticking to the series, hopefully throughout the whole game. Uh, and then after we beat the game, if people still want more, then maybe we could do the 100% because I've never not 100% did a Crash game. But this is definitely Crash in a new flavor, right? Right. It's, it's more of the same, but it's doing it in its own way, and I like that. What flavor would you describe this game as? I have Ranch on the Mind, but I think I would say Salt and Vinegar. Oh. Because there's like there's a lot of sweetness to it, but man, sometimes you just get that tang. Okay. I was going to say Salted Caramel. Oh, okay. So we're both on the salty train. We, we, yeah. This game does make me salty. Thanks for the pity laugh, Casey. It was, uh, I have no pity. <laughs>